Hi everyone, it's Sylvia. How's everyone doing today? So guys, today we're going to do an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. It is a square and this one is by Margaret Morales. And as you guys know, I'm collecting them. I love this artist. Okay, so I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Ajisai. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so as you guys know, um, we always know if you look at the box, if it's blue, means it's a square, okay? And of course, it's also, you can see the, uh, it's a square. Okay, so let's unbox this baby. So what do we know a little bit about uh, Margaret Morales? Oh, but before I say that, uh, this painting, guys, unfortunately is out of stock right now. But if you click on email me, they will let you know when it is available, okay? And, um... Margaret Morales has four paintings right now uh, that Diamond Art Club offers, which is Dragon Spirit. And I already did an unboxing on Dragon Spirit, so you can go check that out. That's in my playlist. And also Satura, Anahime, and Ajisai, okay, which is this one. So let's put the canvas in. This one's a big one, guys. Okay, and what do we know a little bit about Margaret is that she's inspired by Art Nouveau, Mythology, fantasy and nature and Japanese culture and of course anime all right so I'm a little bit out of breath sorry I apologize for that okay so it comes with two stickers okay so this is the smaller one and you can actually put this on your on your box on the on the top or the bottom of the box just in case if you are organizing your boxes or storing your boxes and that way you can see what's in that box you can see the sticker all right, let's look at the toolkit. Sorry. And always the, uh, oh, that's a pretty color, blue. The um, toolkit is always like a little surprise, okay? Because when you, you never know which, which one you're gonna get, which cover mind you're gonna get, or what, which washi tape. So here we have some um, baggies. And so if you're traveling, you, you could actually put the, um, the drills in here, okay? You also have some tweezers, very, very sharp tweezers. Please be very careful. Uh, the square paintings usually have, they come with uh, tweezers. And you also have this pretty cool, look at this, it's a very pretty colored blue. And this is a single placer, meaning that you could only pick up one drill at a time. But it also has uh, some multi-placers. And multi-placers, this one I believe is a four, and this is a seven. Yeah, it says four on it, and this one says seven. So you can actually pick uh, four drills here at a time, and here's seven. All right, and then this is a comfort grip. Let's see if we can get it in. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So this is a can't right now. <laughs> but anyway, it's supposed to go in there, and uh, it's supposed to help with your hands for comfort or if you suffer from arthritis. All right, and also comes with a heart-shaped container with some wax. And the wax, guys, don't forget, it has a little plastic covering, so you've got to peel it in order to get the wax. This is good for the newbies, guys. And here we have some very pretty washi tape. Love it. Let's see. I'm just going to see if I can peel a little bit so you can see it better. See that? It's very pretty. All right, and it comes with a cover minder, which is basically a magnet. And this, as you can see, is a little pink seashell. And the cover minder is basically all the paintings come with a plastic. You peel the plastic back. You put the little seashell on top of the plastic. You put the magnet underneath the canvas. It snaps and it holds the plastic back so you can diamond paint. And of course, the tray. So if you're new, uh, diamond painting, you basically have everything in the kit that you need in order to start. All right. I'm going to need lots of space here, guys. All right. The, all the Diamond Art Club uh, paintings come in a plastic bag and it says Diamond Art Club do what makes you sparkle. Okay. And, uh, and this is basically, I guess, for protection uh, when it's traveling. And I basically, I forgot, it says do what makes you sparkle, but I always say do what makes you happy. Life's too short, guys. You got to have a little fun. All right, so let's open this here. This is a biggie. Okay. Okay, 
So we have anything out of here? Okay, I think I do. So here's the sticker. This is the big sticker, and this one you could actually put in your logbook. And it says Ajisei by Margaret Morales. You put down the start date and the end and the end date. And of course, it comes with pre-cut stickers. And you could actually put these stickers on your containers. By looking at it, it says that we it has 59 colors. Okay? And I believe it has two ABs and two fairy dust diamonds. Because the Z means fairy dust diamonds. All right. And of course, this is just the uh, thank you for your purchase and the instructions step by step and tips and tricks. And then, of course, here are the beautiful drills, which I will be showing them to you in a little while. Okay. I like that it has a sticker and it says, as you say. And so basically, if you separate the drills from the painting, you'll know that these belong to that beautiful painting. All right. So let's put that aside. So now over there because I need space here guys of course the canvas is very 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 soft it has scallop edges okay so I'm just gonna on oh my gosh oh my gosh it's super long guys <laughs> you know what I call I, I my, my friend and I we say that if they're big we call them blankets if they're super big we call them comforters <laughs> yeah so you can basically wrap it around your body that's how big they are so I think this is a comforter. <laughs> um, all right. So, and you could actually do this because it is poured glue. And this just helped to flatten it a little bit, okay? Because it's been in the box. So right here in the bottom, in the bottom of the left-hand side, it shows you a picture of the painting. It just basically tells you it's DAC, which is Diamond Art Club. I just say it's 25.6 inches let me bring this up 25.6 inches by 37.4 inches which is 65 centimeters by 95 centimeters and it's by margaret morales diamond art club and in the middle uh at the bottom it just basically says take 10 for 10 percent off your next order you can find them on facebook and instagram and on the right bottom side, it just tells you about the lifetime warranty. And it's basically a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, it's a free diamond spill insurance. And also a 10% cashback rewards with every order. All right. So I'm going to start unrolling this beauty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, by the way, looks like it comes with a... Oh, there goes a drill. <laughs> um, it comes with perforated uh, plastic. I don't know if you can see the lines. But that's uh, basically you can just peel it in the uh, on the lines, and then you work on that little square. I have still till this the, this day have not worked on the, uh, this one with the perforated plastic. All right, so let's look at the top here very quickly. And the top here it says "Do what makes you sparkle" by Diamond Art Club. And then, of course, now I'm going to show you this beauty. Oh, my gosh, guys. Oh, my gosh. She is beautiful. So, okay, so it's got two legends. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I have space here. Let me just move this over here. Can you see the legend? So there's a legend on the top left-hand side. And the legend basically uh, has three rows. And the first row, it just tells you how many colors. So it has, sorry, it has 59 colors. And it tells you here, down here, that it's got two fairy dust diamonds because they start with the letter Z. And also, uh, of course, on the top here, it tells you that you have two ABs, and which ABs is just basically Aurora Borealis, which means it's a drill with a special extra uh, shine to them. And then, of course, in the middle, it's the symbols. And the symbols is what you find in the painting. And that's where you're going to place your drills. And, of course, this, these numbers here are the DMC codes. All right? And then, of course, you have another legend on the bottom uh, right-hand side. Basically the same thing. All right, so let's look at this beauty. So I wanted to look up the word ajisei. And it just means, in Japanese, in Japanese, 
it means uh, hydrangea. And now the hydrangea is a popular flower in Japan and it holds deep meaning in the Japanese culture. So with its changing colors, depending on the environment and the rain, many believe that the Ajisei flowers symbolize inconsistency and immor immortality. But also they are, they are associated with heartfelt emotion, gratitude, and apology. Okay. All right. So what do we see? So we see, of course, at first when I saw this, this is one of my favorite flowers, hydrangea. I'm not sure. I hope I pronounced it correctly. But yeah. And of course, it has all the colors I love. It has blues. It has greens. It has purples. and has a little bit of uh, like, sort of like light, like light, like pinkish or violet colors here. Um, so you see a beautiful girl. Okay. And she is wearing a traditional uh, kimono, a Japanese kimono. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to slide it up here. Back here, it's like a little, it's like a giant bow. It's not little, it's like a giant bow. And uh, so it's a very long, 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 beautiful gown, a kimono. And it looks like she's, you see her hand here. Uh, she's pointing, it looks like she's pointing to the beautiful flowers. So of course you see all the greenery or the, the, the leaves and the hydrangeas. And not only that, guys, but you see a lot of these white specks everywhere. And I don't know, I believe maybe that's like, like a, maybe shimmering colors. Maybe that's where you're going to place one of the ABs or one of the, uh, the uh, fairy dust diamonds. Uh, and what else? And just by looking at her, she has, well, let me see. Let me look at the sticker. It helps me. It looks like she has her eyes closed. And she's surrounded, like I said, she's surrounded by greenery and these beautiful flowers. So it looks, it looks like a garden, like a garden is all around her, okay? It's just very peaceful. Like I mentioned, I love the colors and this is just perfect for now, for the spring. Um, yeah, I, oh, I mean, I absolutely love this painting. It's very, very, very clear. So I'm just gonna bring it up. Let's see, so you can see she's wearing, it looks like she has a flower in her head. See that? Look at her hair, her beautiful face. Let's see. Oh, oops, what was that? Oh, sorry about the noise. And of course, see how that has like specks? Of course, that's the kimono. It's, it's, it's pretty large. It's pretty large, this painting, guys. All right, so I'm gonna bring out the colors. All right, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm actually gonna say the colors, okay? This is just a, such a beautiful painting. Uh, I love all the colors. So 157 is cornflower blue, very light, and we have three bags of this one. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. 158 is cornflower blue, medium, very dark. 208 is lavender, very dark. 209 is lavender, dark. And 210 is lavender, medium. So these are all in the lavender family. 311 is Wedgwood Ultra, very dark. I think we can fit another one in here. Yep. 315 is Antique Moth, medium dark. Hopefully, I'm getting all the light here. 316 is Antique Moth, medium. 355 is terracotta dark. 356 is terracotta medium. 453 is shell gray light. 500 is blue green, very dark. 
517 is Wedgwood Dark. 518 is Wedgwood Light. Gosh, love all these colors. And 519, there's three bags of 519. This is Sky Blue. Mm, very pretty. 523 is Fern Green Light. Very nice. Okay. And 605 is Cranberry Very Light. Okay, let's move on to the next color. Uh, okay, the 700s. 712 is Cream. 720 is Orange Spice Dark. 754 is Peach Light. 758 is Terracotta Very Light. 772 is Yellow Green Very Light. Seven, ooh, 791 is Cornflower Blue Very Dark. 7.92 is Cornflower Blue Dark. 7.93 is Cornflower Medium. 7.94 is Cornflower Light. So this, this has three bags. Lots of cornflowers. And this one is 7.99 and this one is Delph Blue uh, Medium. There's three bags. Very pretty. And I actually had to put a little bit of surgery, put some tape here because it was open and some spilled. But what I did was I put them in here and then I'm going to pl place them in this little baggie. So the little baggies do come in handy. Okay. I think we could do one more row. Let's see. Up oh, 800s. 801 is Coffee Brown Dark. 803 is the Baby Blue Ultra Very Dark. 818 is Baby Pink. Uh, 819 is Baby Pink Light. 826, two bags of 826, and this is Blue Medium. 828, so pretty. Uh, this is sky blue. Sky blue, very light. And 895, two bags of 895. And this is hunter green, very dark. Okay. All right, almost finished, guys. So as you can see, we have lots in the purple family and lots of blues and some green and some pinks. Let's get a little bit of everything. All right, so I'm going to move all these aside because we need to make some space for the next ones. Okay. Um, we're going to do the 900s. This is very little, 918. This is red copper dark. 934 is avocado green black. 963 is dusty rose ultra very light. And two bags of 987, which is forest green dark. Almost finished, guys. Look how pretty this is. 3072 is beaver gray, very light. 3347 is yellow green medium. 3726 is antique moth dark. 3727 is Antique Moth Light. This is 3756. Uh, it's like a very light, light blue. Very pretty. And there's two bags of 3765, which is Peacock Blue, very dark. Very pretty. 3771 is Terracotta Ultra, very light. I think I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. 3778 is terracotta light. 
3807. Oh, wait, I didn't write this one. Okay, so 3807 is like a, it's like a blue purple. 3818 is emerald green, ultra very dark. 3837 is lavender ultra dark. And 3840, you have three bags of 3840, and this is lavender blue light. 3842 is Wedgewood Very Dark. 3860 is Cocoa. 3861 is Cocoa Light. And 3866 is Mocha Brown Ultra Very Light. There's two bags. Can you see that? Yeah. And then this is the last one of the regular drills, 6010, which is like a very pretty light pink. All right, those are the regular drills. Lots of greens and lots of blues, lots of blues and, and a little bit of pinks. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And we mentioned the earlier that it does have two uh, ABs, which is Aurora Borealis, which just means uh, it's a, it's a drill with an extra shine to it. So this is 126 AB. It's a very, very pretty purple. Okay. And then of course 141. It's white. Very sparkly. And then we have the Fairy Dust Diamonds. We have two and it's Z340. I believe that the coating on these uh, have its mica. Okay. It's a very pretty uh, purple. And wherever you see a Z, it just stands for a Fairy Dust Diamonds. So this one is Z3346, very pretty green, and you have two bags. I believe this is probably for the leaves. What do you think? I don't know. All right, now we're going to bring back the painting, and we're going to see where these uh, drills go. All right, let's see. Oh, let's bring back the giants or the comforter. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so this one, AB126. Right? So when you look at the legend, it is uh, number one. Okay, now we're going to push this back all the way back. So we don't need the glare. We're going to push this over here. All right, so we said number one. Where do you see number one? It's probably going to be on the flowers. Yep. So we have lots of ones here. They're like spread out all over the flowers. The hydrangeas that are purple that look like this color. So that's going to look very pretty, guys. And you have some over here. Uh, let's see, any in her outfit? Oh, you have some here. I believe, is that flowers also? Let's see. No, that's part of her, her kimono. It's part of her kimono there. All right. And let's see it down here. And of course, I believe it's gonna be also over here on the flowers, okay. Just gonna move this up here again over here all this purple here and again uh, some down here in this area okay that's gonna look so pretty I like the way they just they didn't put it all in one place I love that it's subtle you know all right then the next a B is 141 which is a dot and it's going to be, as you can see, it's wherever we see those little speckles. Okay, so it's going to be scattered everywhere. Over here, some here, some here. Let's see. Yeah, wherever you see, like here, the white. And, and uh, like I said, it's like sprinkled. Sprinkled, okay? All right. And then this one is the Fairy Dust Diamonds. And this is the word... <laughs> I always says I always say it says is, but backwards. So yeah, and it's probably going to be in the flowers again. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yep, it's going to be the dark, on the darker side of the purple. Okay. So you have some there. Do you have some out here? Nope. And how about here? Uh, over here on the darker purple. 
put on her kimono. Actually, you do. You have some in her, right here, on the kimono. I think this is the bow, the big bow in the back, which is very pretty. So it's going to be on the bow, which is, I like that because it's going to make it stand out. Uh, and again here, on the flower, with the flowers. And down here, all the way down here in the flowers. Okay, so it's going to be scattered. And then the last one, like I think this is green, obviously, so it's going to be on the leaves. And it's going to be the, it's pointing up to the sky. Yep, it's going to be all over the leaves, guys. So, yeah. And I hope you love this painting as much as I do. And, um, yeah, I just love her. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. I will be doing uh, unboxings all this week, hopefully, and maybe do a haul also. Bye-bye, and thank you very much. Take it easy. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week.